lads, okay? Let me get back to work. Brian, this is gonna be it. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not the doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? Where you poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub drip, Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, with Nero Protocol 2-7 states. Burning. I, Everyone was dead. They were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember at the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? 
Uh, we weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Okay, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. Oh. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night.
Basil fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deke, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Oh, my God. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's the. How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. 